Hey friends, happy Tuesday and welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. If you're new here, hello and welcome. I am Taylor. Most of you who aren't new here probably saw my community post talking about how I was without internet for three days. It was exactly over three days, like 72 hours plus with no internet. So I was not able to edit my video because my editor uh, needs to connect to the internet in order for me to use my transitions and music and stuff. And then I wouldn't have been able to upload it anyway. Uh, so that is why I am here Tuesday morning filming this voiceover for you guys and getting this video out late. And then I will have other videos coming out this week. Grocery haul probably tomorrow and the vlog from our trip last week later this week So this week's supposed for dinner is also a little different because we were gone half the week last week So I've got three meals that I cooked to share with you and then the rest of the meals were what we ate out while we were out of town So let's go ahead and get into this week's what's for dinner Starting off Friday night, I made a new recipe. I kind of like made it up. I adapted some recipes for a ham and broccoli rice bake. So I'm starting off here. I've got some white rice. I did two cups of white rice and two cups of water and then two teaspoons of the Knorr chicken bouillon in my Instant Pot. And I gave that a good stir and then I topped it with one bag of frozen broccoli. And then I put a lid on my Instant Pot and set this to manual high pressure for five minutes. And then I let it do a natural release for about 15 minutes. That's how I always make my rice in the Instant Pot. And then after all that head pressure had been released, I took off the lid, added in one can of cream of chicken soup, and then I did about a cup of cottage cheese that I blended up in my little blender so it was nice and smooth. It basically looked like sour cream. I saw some other recipes using sour cream or Greek yogurt. I decided to do cottage cheese, make it a little bit cheesy, but also add in some extra protein. And then I did that cream of chicken soup can i filled it halfway up with milk added that in and then i did some seasonings i did some onion powder garlic powder some pepper i didn't add any extra salt because the soups and stuff can be salty and then i added in about a cup of cheddar cheese and then i'm also going to add in about a cup of diced ham i had this in my freezer left over from easter added in a little bit more shredded cheese Gave that all a good stir and then I transferred this to a casserole dish. Got it all in there, spread it out, uh, topped it with a little bit more cheese and then I also added on some crushed crackers. Um, I chose to do saltines because it's what I always have on hand. I always have saltines. I crushed those up and mixed them with about two tablespoons of melted butter and then sprinkled that over the top and then this went in the oven on 350 for about 25 minutes and let me just tell you this turned out delicious it was so filling i think because of that added protein from the cottage cheese and then of course it's rice and ham and it was just so good i will definitely make this again it will be one of my favorite ways now i think to use leftover diced ham because we all love this we ate the leftovers for lunch the next day and it was just as good Saturday night I just made some burgers so I like to keep it simple when I make my burgers all I do is season both sides of the patties with some salt and pepper and then let them sit and like get a nice crust on the one side for like five minutes before I flip them and then do the same thing on the other side and my burgers always turn out super juicy and so good and then I had these pretzel buns I think I got them on Markdown at Kroger. I threw them in the freezer until I knew I wanted to make burgers. So I had them on that and they were so soft and delicious. I warmed the buns in the microwave for like 30 seconds wrapped in a paper towel and it made, made a difference. It was like a nice soft pretzel. And of course we had our usual toppings, mayonnaise, mustard, ketchup, lettuce, tomato. And then we just had some barbecue chips on the side to make it super simple. Okay, Sunday night was our first night out of town. We made a stop like a little over halfway in Goodlettsville, Tennessee, just north of Nashville. And we decided to get this Mexican food because it was 
in the hotel parking lot basically it was like right there you could walk to it um and we were having issues with andy's car which is a whole nother story you'll have to watch the vlog for that but walking was perfect so mexican food is also always usually a safe choice for our family so we went there i looked it up on like a google first before we went and the pictures looked you know generic mexican food nothing looked bad about it but i was wrong i was wrong i would not recommend this place it's called poncho villa mexican i think um it is in goodlitzville tennessee if you live here i would not recommend going here um i had the two taco like combination dinner andy had a taco and an enchilada combination dinner with rice and beans the kids each had the kids enchilada plate um to start off when our food came out we noticed there wasn't very much cheese on our tacos like at all and then they used like bagged salad mix for the lettuce instead of regular lettuce so there was like carrots and cabbage in your salad i mean in your taco and i was like who who does this I don't want carrots in my taco so it, it was just overall bland even the kids complained that the red sauce on their enchiladas wasn't very good and they like what we get near home better um something was off about the way the salsa tasted we're used to like all kinds of mexican food where we live in georgia and so this is just like very bland somebody in the comments of the google reviews said it was very white mexican food and i would have to agree with how bland this was i would not recommend it monday night we were tired after a long day of traveling the rest of the way to indiana and then spending the afternoon in the sun watching the eclipse which was an awesome experience but we were tired from that so we decided to just get some pizza and take it back to our hotel room we stopped at walmart and got like a salad mix while our pizza was cooking because we ordered it over the phone and then went and picked it up this was steve's una pizza and we noticed that there was a lot of restaurants that were like so and so's una pizza so we were like what is una pizza and after we had already eaten it and we looked it up and it's like a specific type of pizza that's like made in evansville indiana um and like around there it's like this cracker crust which it wasn't bad it was pretty good um i wouldn't say it's my favorite but it was definitely cool to experience a new pizza we got like a meat lovers one um and like all the meat is like under the cheese and it was pretty tasty and then we had like a caesar salad kit with it lily just had an apple you didn't see that because i didn't have it on her plate but she did have an apple with it too Tuesday was Andy's birthday and he wanted hibachi so we went to this hibachi place in Evansville called Zuki and we really enjoyed it it's hibachi and it also has like a sushi lounge so he was able to get the hibachi that he wanted and then I got some sushi the kids also got hibachi um, it was their first experience ever at a hibachi place so that was interesting Lily cried when he first started the fire I got a little bit of the video of that um, that'll be included in the vlog but it was it was fun to experience it my sushi was delicious Andy and the kids said that their hibachi stuff was delicious so I would recommend this place Wednesday we made it back home I think we got home right around four o'clock and so there was no way I was cooking we also didn't have a lot of groceries in the house so we ordered a new place to us my sister had recommended it before it's called El Indio um, it's Mexican food and they had birria on their menu so we had birria for the first time um, me and Andy had the birria tacos with the consomme and then the kids had the birria quesadillas with rice and beans and sour cream and then I also ordered a side of rice and some guacamole everything was delicious I didn't finish my birria tacos I ate two of them and then saved the next one for the next day at lunch and it was good reheated too I reheated it in the air fryer the kids loved their quesadillas um it was it was so good if you're local to me i know that there are a couple different locations of this el indio place um highly recommend my sister said it's delicious too this was the first time having anything from there and the first time any of us had ever had birria so definitely recommend it it was delicious and now i want to try to make my own birria because it was so good 
For the final meal of the week, I made a smoked sausage Cajun Alfredo. I started off by bringing some salted water to a boil and cooking up one 16 ounce box of ziti. And then in a big skillet, I'm gonna go ahead and start frying up some smoked sausage that I sliced. And then I'm just gonna like flip it over every now and then till I get it browned how I want it to be. Then I'm going to add in some like sliced or diced I don't know what you want to call it uh grape tomatoes halved halved grape tomatoes that's probably what I'm looking for um and then I put those in there and let this continue to cook for another like four to five minutes until those tomatoes started to soften and like release all their juices and then I'm going to add in one jar of alfredo sauce. I typically don't like this ragu alfredo sauce very much, but my father-in-law gave it to me because it was close to the expiration date and he asked if I would use it and I'm not going to let it go to waste. So I used it in this and then I filled that jar about halfway up with milk, gave it a good shake, got everything out of it. And then to help with the flavor of it since i don't like this particular jarred alfredo sauce very much i'm gonna add in a bunch of seasonings i did a bunch of the tony's creole seasoning or you could use like whatever cajun seasoning you like and then garlic powder and onion powder and a little bit of paprika and salt and pepper just until it got to the flavor that i wanted and then i just let this kind of simmer for a little bit It'll thicken up a little bit because I added that milk in there so it thinned it out a little bit. But as you let it simmer over like a medium low, it'll kind of thicken up again. And then I'm going to add in my pasta. I did reserve a little bit of the water for my pasta, but I didn't end up needing it. But I always do that just in case I want to thin out my sauce a little bit more. So I added in my cooked pasta along with some shredded cheese. I didn't have Parmesan. I would have liked to use that, but I didn't have any freshly shredded Parmesan. So I just used an Italian blend mix of cheese and stirred that in along with some more seasoning. I did some more Tony's Creole seasoning and then just tasted it until I got it to how I wanted it to be. And then this was ready to serve. It was delicious. It was quick and easy. And I just kind of kind of winged it on this one and it turned out pretty good. Um, Elijah complained about the tomatoes, but he always does and just picks them out. He's like me when I was a kid and then now I love tomatoes. But that is it for this week's What's for Dinner. I hope that even though half of this video was just me showing what we ate out, that you still got some ideas and still enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up down below. Leave me a smiley face down in the comments. Let me know you made it here all the way to the end. I hope you'll have a great week and I will be back tomorrow with the grocery haul.